Hi guys, this is Sajak from Trotman.com and in this video, I should be discussing about the HLU app that allows you to run the ADB root and shell commands without using a PC. So let me show you how that could be done. The app comes in three different modes. The modes are as follows, the local modes for locally running the commands on your phone only. But in local as well, you have two modes, the Shizoku, which are the non-root ADB shell command and the root mode, which is the SU commands. So you could use the mode of your choice and then run the commands locally or if you want you can also run the commands on a secondary phone as well that could be done via wireless debugging or using an otg cable as well choice is all yours via the otg or the wireless debugging or if you want to run the commands on your phone only then use the local mode if there are root commands use you have to then obtain the root or else you may simply use the shizuku app to get the job done so with that in mind let's now show you how to use these apps so first off if you want to run the local Command, then you will require Shizoku or the root if for routing command, but that's not required if you're using the wireless debugging or OTG, that's not required then. Moreover, since we are already using the ADB shell window, no need to use the ADB shell keyword, simply use the command directly. For example, if the command is ADB shell PM list package, in that case, just write the command of PM list package and that is it. Keep this point in mind, it's very important. Finally, our main phone is the one in which the ADB shell is installed. So in this video it will be the OnePlus 11 and the secondary phone is the one on which you will be seeing the execution of the commands being taken place which is the Pixel 6a. So whatever command I type in on my main phone the OnePlus 11 you will see the same result on the Pixel 6a. For instance if I type in the command adb reboot recovery on my main phone the secondary phone which is the Pixel 6a will now reboot to the recovery mode and so on. So with that in mind let's get started. First and foremost please install the HLU app from GitHub. This is the official link. It's an open source app as well, which is great to see. So get the app from the release page of the GitHub. Just give me a few seconds. It's currently loading. This is not, this is a nightly build. Skip this one. Instead, use the secondary one, which is the this one, the latest build. Get the APK file from here and install it onto your PC, onto your phone, sorry. Let me do that as well. Files, uh, HLU app, install. And it's now installed. Tap on done. After that, let's install the Shizuku app as well from Play Store and then set up the app onto your phone. If you're using the this app for using the command on your a secondary phone, in that case, not required. But if you want to use the command on your main phone only, in that case, please use the Shizuku app as well. The steps to enable and set up the Shizuku app is given in the article. So please have a look at that. For you could see there are three ways using the routing method, the ADB method, and the wireless debugging method. The choice is all yours. Have a look at all of these, these three approaches and then get the job done as per the convenience of your choice. So anyways, let's set up the Shizuku app as well. In my case, that is the case already. I have the Shizuku app up and running. This is the app. Well and good. After that, let's now make full use of the app. So first off, let's use the local mode of the app. So in this case, I'm using the app only on my phone only. So first launch the Adobe Shell app. Then tap on continue. The UI is quite interesting. It's supposedly latest theming engine as well to continue for now let's first use the shizuku mode the routing mode i will show at the very end of the video first off let's use the shizuku allow all the time it's now granted tap on start so for now you are using the local mode only you could see shizuku has the granted root is not there for now so just tap on local adb now so let's see some command for the sake of reference okay the best part about this is that you will have all the commands given here only tap on this and you will see the list of all the commands given here let me show you example layout style is over here and just give me a second. Okay, this is the command section. List of all the commands are given in this section. You may have a look at that or much easier way is to simply type in ADB shell and you will see a list of all the commands as well. So just don't use the ADB shell while having the command. For now, you're using the shell because I want to show you all the command list over here. But when you want to use the command, please don't use the ADB shell keyword. Remove that. So let's say let's dump the system partition or the battery information dump sys battery and you will get all the info of your phone's battery hit the enter key and you could now see we have got all the bad information the voltage temperature last child all of these things so always please never use the adb shell keyword just use the required command in the same way you may carry out all the commands of your choice let's say pm list packages and anything this will give out the list of all the package name installed on your phones it's not done. You could see for the OnePlus phone, we have all the packages. It, as of now, it's only locally on our phone only and not on any other phone. So with that said, let's now let me show you the next approach by wireless debugging. 
so let's bring in one more phone which is the pixel 6a my secondary phone so let's now get started with this process so in the wireless debugging mode first off take your secondary phone which is over here and enable wireless debugging over here so for that go to the settings menu from there go to about phone and tap on build number seven times then go back go to system dev options and enable wireless debugging which is over here then tap on wireless debugging and be on the screen as of now then on your main phone which is this one my one plus 11 tap on start under wireless debugging then tap on connect a new device connect other device which is this one and now type in the ip address the port and the pairing code from your secondary phone so let's just do that it will take a few seconds ip address is as follows and you can now see it's connected via adb wireless debugging so now let's use any command so in this tap on start via wireless debugging choose your phone from here under the ip address wi-fi adb is now up and running so i'll show you a command let's use the command of reboot to the fastboot mode this is my phone over here you could see so the command is as follows let's type in the command of adb reboot let's say boot loader and as soon as i hit the enter key you will see the phone will now go to the fast boot mode it's now going to fast boot mode and over here is the reboot boot order and just wait for a few seconds and the phone should now be in the fast boot mode thanks to the wireless debugging prompt onto our phone and you could now see it's in the fast boot mode which is quite great to see so we are done with this as well now let me show you the final task which is using the usb otg cable this is the i hate this most but i'll show you once again because it's quite complications involved so anyways this is the usb otg the otg cable should be there on your main phone which is one plus 11 and one end of the usb cable should be on the otg and the other end which is the type c of the cable should be in the secondary phone again i'm repeating the usb otg should be on your main phone one end of the usb should be on the otg only and the other end of the usb should be type c should be on the secondary phone so let's establish a connection and apart from that please also enable usb debugging on your secondary phone to repeat this is the steps for the enabling usb debugging on a secondary phone allow just give me a second go to settings then about phone tap on build number seven times then go to system dev options and from here please enable usb debugging on your secondary phone once that is done let's keep it here only and connect the usb cable on your secondary phone on your main phone in, in okay first off insert the otg cable on your main phone and once that is done let me first unlock it and now insert the usb cable on your secondary phone as well once that is done you will see i got a prompt on your main phone for the pixel 6a check mark always allow tap on ok once that is done we should establish a usb debugging connection let me first verify it you could see usb debugging is now connected so once that is done let's first verify it so on your main phone scroll down to the adb to otg tap here otg and okay my phone is currently not shown i was quite aware because this happens quite a lot you have to plug in unplug it until your phone is shown here it's just a hit and trial approach for me always let me first unplug my pixel 6a then plug it back in usb attach pixel 6a again showing us none over here i don't know why okay you have got a prompt on my secondary phone now always allow from this pc my pc is my main phone which is the one eleven? Always allow. And now you could see we have got the message connected. My phone code name Blue J is shown here. If I type on OTG now, you could see Pixel Six is shown here. And now you could use the command of your choice. For example, let's say the if you now type in the command of PM list packages, you will see a list of all the packages which is there onto your Pixel, the secondary phone, not the main phone. You could see I have all the Google apps now shown over here for my for my Pixel phone. Likewise, let's say. ADB shell now if I type in the same command of dump sys battery and the info will now be shown for my secondary phone for the pixel phone it's not for the one plus it's for the pixel phone my secondary phone as you could see from here time and last charges so guys this all from this video lastly I'll now show you how to use the routing command as well so this is quite interesting part for now it's not root is not given if you're using the magisk and you tap on here you get the su prompt in case of apis and ksu that will not happen so for apis and ksu users you have to launch the app apis or ksu go to module section super user section 
which is at the home page, Tagmon Super User. From here, then you will see the app, which is this one. Well, where Asial U enable the toggle super user. When that is done, now let's launch the app once again. Asial U. And now tap on root access, tap on here. It's now granted, you could see. So we could now use the routing command as well. So for routing command, let's try to dump a partition of our phone. Let's say the boot partition and then we could easily use the file to root the phone as well. For dumping the partition, first off, I made an article as well. So let's see the links. This is my article and I'll use a few commands over here. For dumping, first off, is the ADB shell, which we are inside shell only. Then type in SU and you will now get the hash. It's very important you can see hash SU. Now type in this th third command. The easiest way for is to copy the command from here. Let me open my paste it here and paste. Let's now get the file via the local send. My phone is Mystic Coconut and it should be here only number 58. Copy the command. The third command is over here. Let's paste it. Let me just verify it. It's fine. Okay, it's currently loading. I don't know why. Because I just copied pasted the command. Okay, now hit the enter key and you can now see it is showing all the partition name and their address as well. In my case, I required the boot partition. Let's say the boot A slot. So currently AOP, okay, it should be here only. Boot A, this is the slot. Address is the dev block as the 13 is the address. So let's try to dump this. For that, the command is over here. Just change the address of SDD1 with SD13 and the name is the boot A.IMG. Again, let's copy the command from here. Paste the command in the CM in this app. And then switch back to my local send third party app and paste the command here. 58. Copy. Paste the command here. Now change two things. First of the file name is in fact boot underscore dot img. Boot underscore, let's say it's the a partition a dot img. And the address I have shown you earlier as well is the sde13. So change it from sdd1 to sdd. Okay, just is testing my patience, I suppose. sde13. It's now done. The rest of them will be the same. Hit the enter key. And you can now see it's now taken a backup from my phone and placed inside the SD card only, which I given the address to verify it once. Internal memory. You could see boot A IMG file got a 192 MB. You could it's the stock IMG file, so you could now patch it by matches. Okay, in my case, not the stock because I already obtained root. So you may simply get the stock files if required as well. From this method, you could get any file of your choice. Here is all the you could see say address of the partition as well get the required file such as the VB meta IMG file for verifying Android verified boot. You can turn that off as well and get all the files from this section or you can type any ADB shell command, root command of your choice in this app. And so guys, that's it from this video. If you have any query, let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching the video.